New details tonight in a hotel shooting that hurt three Wauwatosa police officers. We now have body camera of the entire incident. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez breaks it all down for us. She joins us live. Angie. Yeah, guys, bullets marked an entire hotel hallway. A warning to our viewers. The video of how this all unfolded is intense. 21 last chance. We're going to have to force entry. If you don't come to the door, come to the door now. November 6, 2021. Someone inside room 221 of the Radisson in Wauwatosa is refusing to come out. Officers unknowingly in the line of fire. We came across dozens of people that were hunkered down, terrified. That day, Captain Luke Vetter was working the command center. Officers responded to a shootout between two teenagers in a hotel hallway. They would later learn the teens left the scene. But unknown to police, a third person armed with a gun was hiding in a room. Officers began their investigation, going door to door. Did this round come through the door? Yes. Yes, it did. Right here. This, it's in the bathroom. Okay. It's getting ready to get in the shower. They reached the last room, leading to this. Injuries were to the hand, to the leg, on another officer. Injury was to uh, both legs, and on a different officer, I would say leg and foot. No, I'm fine. Go. Deal with him. Sergeant Kurt Swatek, Sergeant Edward Turpak, and Officer Matthew Martell suffered gunshot wounds. Backup arrives. I don't want to leave you guys up here, though. Sergeant Swatek is hurt, but concerned for his colleagues. Even while getting medical attention, the injured officers don't stop. Kurt, there was a girl across the hallway. I know. we got to get her out. It's unbelievable to me, uh, the composure that they had. Another vantage point shows the exchange of gunfire. 15 minutes after bullets went flying, 33-year-old Kenneth Burney surrenders. And charges against Kenneth Burney include three counts of attempted first degree intentional homicide. His jury trial is scheduled for next week. All three officers injured in this shooting are back to work. Reporting live in Milwaukee County, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. I'm glad they're doing okay. Angie, thank you.